Hey, Taurus, welcome to your singles, doubles, and situationships reading. Okay, we're looking a little bit more into that spiritual mastery aspect today. For those of you that are new, I welcome you. I am an intuitive. You may find that uh, <clears throat> I'm seeing something in the traditional that maybe you haven't heard before. You also may... Um, find that roles are reversed with any reading, right? Uh, this is timeless. Whenever you come upon it is when it is meant for you. For those of you that are returning, I appreciate you. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That is what helps the channel. It is what helps get the message out there, and it will determine your placement in the Soul Path readings, okay? So for the collective here, all right, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting this energy of falling down the rabbit hole. But it, whatever it is, it is something that is going to ground you. Okay. Um, we've got morality in the fool. The fool came out in reverse. I almost feel like there's some aspect of this decision that um, maybe doesn't seem like it's balanced enough yet to make that leap of faith. For some of you, it could be this aspect where you just feel like um, this like inner judgment on yourself. Okay. So let's pull some overview energy here. Thank you. Out here, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. You has kind of just thrown everything out there, um, trying to pick a direction. It's kind of like, whew, wherever it takes me, let it take me there, okay? We do have here that you are really relying on, I almost feel like the practical here with the four-leggeds, okay? It's like, Things that I can see, touch, sense, feel, right? Like if I, if it's practical, if I can see it and understand it, I'm following that. But um, you're getting other, other energies that you are deflecting. Okay, you might be like, oh, I see an elk. And then that elk is like sending you these like sound waves. <laughs> <laughs> someone needs to hear that and um, you're like no I don't want to hear that part of it right you're kind of deflecting it but it's going to come down to the fact that the truth is the truth is the truth is the truth and just like plants we all have life cycles in energy and I feel that it's very important for you to kind of like understand and have a realization that that is, right, like your path is your path is your path. And it's very important for you to understand that in this aspect, okay? So, for our singles, thank you. Our doubles, thank you. For our situationship, thank you. Yeah, again, um, unicorns, there are infinite possibilities here. And as this card, as I was turning it over so I could, you know, because it's an oracle, I want it in that upright position. Um, in my head, I can hear that singing. Do you believe in magic? Na, 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 na. Do, 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 magic. I don't even know that song, really. I just, I mean, I obviously heard it when I was a very small child. But um, again, I feel like there is something that is, you're deflecting, okay? So singles here, all right? Uh, you are taking a big leap ahead probably in your career here in prosperity. Um, whatever offer is coming your way, I feel like it really is going to kind of like take you up to a next level and 
people may be like, how did you find out about this? And then, like, you know, there may be a little envy in others. And be aware that some people may be a little bit toxic about your leap ahead. Okay. But yeah, all right. Tiny triumphs. You've ended a cycle. And as such, you uh, attracted this offer and you are attracting this balance, okay, where now you're taking a bigger chunk, a bigger bite into that uh, prosperity growth cycle. Um, there's still a lot of work that's going to be need to be done. I feel like now, probably through the holiday season, um, at the last quarter of the year, you're going to be really highly focused on work. Okay, but there is a very divine partnership, okay, coming your way. I do want you to, um, when that shows up, make sure that you don't put work ahead of love. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Again, it's just telling me that you are getting really good you know, connectivity with messages between you and other people and you and your spirit guides. And that is driving this, this prosperity for you. Okay. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah. You're not sitting on your laurels anymore. You are really cutting through the thoughts in your mind, uh, getting out of that moon energy. Yeah, the sun. Okay, you are in a massive creation mode, very masculine energy, and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, for our doubles, all right, you have an inner knowing um, that a truth is going to come out here, and it's a challenge that will make you stronger. Okay. Um, you may have felt like you were just kind of following someone else's path and now you may feel like um, it's time for you to go inward and follow your own truth. Okay. Yeah, like a bird. Number 22. And it did come out in reverse. So again, I feel like you are really grateful for the messages you've gained and the friendships that you've cultivated, and even the love that you've had. But you feel this spiritual calling that's coming towards you. Yeah. Okay, you've been, you go from 22 to 44. You've felt like you were stranded with no way to go forward. But these angel wings, right, are, this is what's lifting you up. And there is the inner knowing that you are going to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got home in the sky. You're being called to a very divine connection. Okay, somebody who is as mystically aligned, spiritually aligned as you are. This could be in friendship, this could be in love. But um, I feel like it's going to bring in its own set of challenges. Okay, in your traditional aspect. Yeah, four of wands, right? It's going to bring in some challenges because you're going forward, but your partner is not. And it could just be in the fact that your partner is feeling left out because they don't really get things. But it could be that you are taking a different path altogether. Yeah, judgment. It's going to be a different choice for all of you, but it is the calling that you've been heralded by and the action that's coming in is such that you know this is where you're supposed to be. Okay. Um, Nine of Swords, right? You are following your North Node. You are following your Soul Path. You are following your Spirit Guides. And you may keep it kind of quiet because you might fear that you're going to hurt this other person uh, because you can already sense that their feelings are very hurt in this situation. For our situationships here, okay, you're reinventing yourself. 
maybe even in an aspect for your legacy, for your children. Um, and this transformation, okay, decide what it is that you really want because you're speaking out to the universe and the universe is going to be bringing back transformation in regards to this. Okay. Yeah, abracadabra. Again, what you say, spirit is really taking notice of. I talked about that in the uh, Surrender to the Divine Week 1 class, which is now available on the uh, Be Light Create website. You can go there and purchase it and get access to the replay. Um, and it's a donation, so if you don't have the money for that, right, reach out, let me know, and I will get you that as well. Um, again, this is taking you on the new direction of your wish. It's carrying you, this magic, this placement. You are being carried forward, okay? And I love this, um, this energy of... I gotta put, do I have my glasses here? I've got glasses somewhere here, hold on. I will find some because it, they want me to look closer. Cause I'm seeing weaving flowers. It is weaving flowers, but I was like, does it say wearing flowers? Cause she is wearing flowers. Again, very masculine energy in terms of thoughts and creativity and yet very feminine energy in terms of where the fire is stemming from. Okay, angel number 33. So you're getting a lot of very synchronous numbers here, Taurus. I do feel that, again, spirit is saying, follow that path. You'll know exactly where it's leading you, but be very succinct because the universe is listening. Okay, the Hierophant, there you are, right? You are using all of your power to create. And I feel like it's a divine connection. Okay. Ten of Swords in reverse. Here's been the challenge. I feel like something has been kind of spinning in the background. Uh, you've been challenged in some sort of self-sabotage. Somebody else perhaps has been challenged in some sort of self-sabotage. And that might be what you think you're manifesting here. And it may not be uh, the Empress, Venus. Under that Venus moon, um, I feel like you have manifested love, right? There's the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom with that thunder and lightning. Um, definitely, right, there's Jupiter because this was, we just had... Jupiter conjunct Neptune in Pisces, right? And the full moon in Libra in Aries. There's a lot of very powerful energy right now that you are definitely manifesting with, okay? So let's get some more advice here for Taurus, okay? What else for Taurus, okay? King of Cups, yeah, all right? There is this real thought going into love aspects of love divining love okay having a life that you love but with the four of cups here there's almost again a little bit of fear still that is holding you back from the type of two of cups that you are manifesting here okay four of wands energy here being held. It's really interesting because it's the, it is the five of wands, but we actually have six wands being shown here. Um, they're really showing me the four of wands in the background here with the three birds. The direction here is in that 1111 pathway and yet we've got these two of wands crossed where um, there are a couple of aspects that need to learn some lessons here that need to cross paths here in order for this to happen 
Yeah, and there we have the sun again. Okay, um, this is going to really, I feel like, bring a lot of joy and happiness and a very divine interconnectedness within yourself. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, yeah, Nine of Cups here with the Four of Swords. There's this protected, relaxing fulfillment that's coming to you. Like I've played everyone else's games. Now I'm getting my path. And this is something that actually is going to be, it's almost like walking through a portal energy where you are walking into this new life where all of a sudden, like everything you've wanted and desired okay, will show up, but it's not being distracted, okay, in deflecting those desires away, yeah, because there we have the five of cups, right, things have not worked out for me in the past, I am still holding on to this old soul contract that is keeping me from where I want to be, Okay, temperance. I'm slowly sludging through my emotions. Okay, holding on to this very antiquated cup. And I've got the six of cups here. Right? Someone else I feel like is growing old. And I love that there's the ten of the Ten of Wands, sort of an energy here with this Five of Wheels. It's like, if you can get over the challenge, then the Wands will carry you forward, right? There's Taurus, right? If I can get over this challenge, this hump, then this chance that I've asked for will come. But you've got to be the one here Okay, page of pentacles to plant that happiness, that sunshine, that seed into the soil. Okay. What else here, spirit? Thank you. Yeah, very interesting. The chariot in reverse. Part of your problem is that you don't feel balanced yet and you're still gaining that perspective to balance out. You're still being practical, okay? And, um, yeah, okay. Um, there's almost this feeling of, I'm going to wait it out, okay? But Eight of Pentacles is an energy of, no, you've got work to do, okay? Queen of Wands here. Someone knows how to push your buttons into happiness, right? They see the potential here. This could just be in terms of career, right? This person that's been feeding you information, but someone sees this potential in you, okay? And you have to see the potential in yourself, okay? The star in reverse. You are seeking that truth and it is very much within you. Okay, again, six of cups here. Um, follow that energy of right? The three no, right? Um, the triangle, the trifecta, the energy that I, I know my destination is moving forward and then just go for it. Okay. What else here? Thank you. Yeah. Again, a lot of material wealth coming in here, a lot of abundance coming in here. But it makes you feel like you're imbalanced. And the secret here is that it's a choice to be balanced. Okay, it really is a choice. If you choose the sun, you will be in balance, right? It really is a choice within you to know that 
having options can be very balanced within it. Okay, let's close it up with an oracle here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, uh, it's very helpful. Yeah, the word wants to be written. You have all these thoughts and all these things that you want to say. And if you can't say them because the spoken word is so important, maybe you just need to write them down and journal them because it's the word. It's very important to get really clear about what it is that you're wishing for here because you're going to manifest regardless. So uh, with all of this power coming out within your energy field, I really feel like now is the time to manifest uh, before you walk into right this very powerful season for you. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week. You're walking here towards your, uh, your own power, your own birthright. And it's going to lead you to some pretty incredible things. All right. So love you guys. Have a beautiful week and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.